Hey guys, this is um, a video, it's going to be a video of my Newton scooter project that we had to do for school. In science class we had to build a car and it has to be, had to be powered based on something powered by the Newton's third law of motion which as you can obviously see is a balloon. So I'm going to show you how far this thing will go. Okay, so just give me a moment to blow up the balloon. Now hold on, let me put the balloon on. Right, see? There it is. That's what it looks like. Alright, now in this project, this has to go a meter. At least a meter and a half, which is about from here to around here. So let's see how far the same will go. Yeah, I would definitely get a probably an A on this. But yeah, um, that's kind of pointless on this board. And I know, and I haven't uploaded a video in a few days, so I just want to upload that. This is made out of a regular balloon, a, pop, a Mountain Dew pop bottle. These are really long matches, and I use those if we're cut off the match tips. And then I use the sewing threads for the wheels, which they roll really good. Now I use tape on the bottom to keep the axles um, safe and keep them in place that way it won't spin out everywhere like that, Ooh, like it did when I first started. And this is a Starbucks lid off of a Starbucks cup from Starbucks. So uh, that's basically all it's, all it's made out of. And so this was just kind of an inspiration idea. If you guys are, if you guys have to do one of these, um, a balloon power is probably the easiest, maybe. Maybe not. Depends on how good you are at science, which I'm not very good. But, um, yeah, that's basically all it is. And, uh, thanks for watching.